hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is the great tech in today's video i'm going to show you how to flash a mobile phone an mtk chipset using the sp flash to using your computer okay so if you're coming across my channel for the first time i have not subscribed please do well to subscribe like this video and drop your positive comments on the comment section so that the youtube algorithm will know that we are sharing positive valuable content that is the only way you can appreciate my effort and if you have not joined my mentorship class please do well to join it's very very important and is very very vital okay because most of the valuable content are being shared on my telegram channel okay my whatsapp group and my telegram channel so it's not all my valuable content that i post on my youtube channel so if you have not joined my mentorship class please do well to join my mentorship class it will help you a lot to know how to fix phone both software and hardware okay so without further ado let's dive straight to the business of today okay for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be using the this uh, mobile phone which is techno yc this old mtk chipset okay this is techno yc okay some of these latest android like the android version 10 11 12 these two doesn't support it okay we have other tools that support it so if you want to learn more about how to flash mobile phone you can join my vip class but for the purpose of this tutorial watch carefully to understand how this process is being done okay you can actually use this method to be flashing mobile phones so the first you want to do you want to install your mtk driver okay now you want to install your this is your firmware downloaded and you already have your sp flash too so the next thing you want to do is to create a folder okay create a folder where we'll be copying the firmware to so new then head over to to folder okay now create a new folder where you'll be um, moving the firmware to okay let's name this folder techno yc's okay let's name it techno yc's okay i want to show you how to extract firmware okay because this firmware is already on on a raw format so we need to extract it so this is the firmware you move it to the folder okay now open the folder and extract the firmware okay this firmware is already on raw format so go to extract here right click and go to extract here then click on extract here then wait for a little while for the firmware to extract okay so if you want to learn how to download this firmware you can join my vip class we already have all these tools there okay so it's a very very easy step to get all this okay once you have extracted it um a folder will be another folder will be created inside that folder okay so let's open this folder for me to show you how the firmware looks like so once this is the firmware folder okay so this is all we have here so once you have successfully extracted the firmware the next you want to do you want to install the mtk driver okay so already i've extracted this driver so the folder has been created already so let's just open launch the folder okay let's open it now head over to miracle driver installation then click on it now wait for um for the loading configuration file to be completed it will now launch pop-up menu like this then you click on i agree follow the step to install it then click on next okay once you have clicked on next head over to install mtk driver click on it now once you have clicked on it head over to vcom driver under 64 bits but this system is running 64 bits so before you install it check the configuration of your system if it's running a 64 bit or a 32 bit okay so let's close it let me show you how to check it now you head over to file file manager then go to your computer then right click on an empty space go to head over to property click on property then you see the configuration of the system as you can see this system is running 64 bit operating system okay so let's close it and go back to our installation make sure you confirm it before you install okay so that you won't be installing the wrong one so let's head over to it and launch it again So now you head over to I agree and click on next. Then click on install MTK driver and click on VCOM driver. Okay, now I pop up menu up here, then click on yes. Then click on next. Now you wait for it to install. Now it's done. 
you click on finish and minimize that is cancel then that's this next thing is to launch the two that is the sp flash two okay I already have extracted it so this is the the folder already so let's open the folder now head over to flash two the flash two okay head over to it because it has been extracted already so just search for flash two okay i think i've seen it okay flash two then click on it open it uh then the next thing you want to do is to choose the um the firmware so go to the scattered loaded um loaded file loading file then click on choose once you have clicked on choose select the location where you have extracted the firmware okay mine is desktop initially i've already extracted the firmware at um the flash tool so but i i also extracted it to the desktop so anywhere i want to choose i can go to the location where i extracted the firmware and select so this is the techno why is the firmware then you click on the folder then you see the scatter click on firmware and you see the scattered file okay this is the scattered um android scatter file then you just select it and wait for it to finish processing so once it's processed it's finished processing we'll head over to flashing the mobile phone using this particular tool okay so there are different ways to flash different um uh, different mobile phone different chipset okay and the uh, the modern number okay the the version android version matters a lot this method of flashing only work for android version from 8 to 8 below okay android version 8 downward so it doesn't work for the latest android version like 11 12 so they have different flash to if you want to still learn about those flash you can join my mentorship class to learn them so untick the preloader before you do anything this is the preloader make sure you untick it before you start flashing after the firmware has the scattered file finished loading untick the preloader so once you have done that you click on the download okay once you click on the download now you connect the usb to the mobile phone okay so once you have connect the usb to the mobile phone or the battery shouldn't be connected or remove the battery then put the usb cord to the mobile phone then connect the battery okay so i'll show you how to do that again let's start again let me show you how to do it again okay the first thing you want to do remove the mobile phone battery that is for phones that have that uses external battery once you have removed it then you plug in the usb um cord then you connect the battery okay so you now wait for the flashing process to be done okay you see from the below um a red sign will pop pop up then the yellow will start coming out okay that is showing progress that is flashing as you can see there's a yellow stop there and it should be showing you the downloading percent okay showing downloading five percent so you wait for that percentage to reach like 100 so once it has reached 100 that is the mobile phone has successfully um flash okay so i told you guys that this method this flash to only works for flash um chipset mtk chipset that is from 8 8 version 8 android version 8 below okay from the android version 9 above 10 11 12 okay it can't and the future android version that is coming out, it can't work there the reason is it doesn't have um an inbuilt there's all called da it doesn't have an inbuilt da so we use some advanced tools that most of my students knows about it on the telegram channel and the whatsapp group so if you have not a member you can join quickly so that you can get access to some of those two okay so it's very important join my whatsapp group to get access to most of those two you can contact me those numbers showing on your screen okay so let's wait for this flashing to be done okay, once it's done then we'll proceed to um unplugging checking the mobile phone if it has successfully flashed okay so let's wait patiently for the flashing to be done so as you can see on the screen is almost there and seven percent and it's and download okay so the flashing is done so the next thing you want to unplug your mobile phone from the computer system unplug the usb cord So the next thing you want to do is to switch it on to turn on the mobile phone remove the battery then plug it put it back then turn the mobile phone on
So after turning it on, wait patiently for it to finish booting. So as you can see the flashing is done and it's just successfully boots.